Hi, I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. I've been traveling around the country delivering our Backup 2.0 presentation in conjunction with the uh, good folks at Tech Target. And some questions have come up that I want to address. So the big one is uh, how do we reduce RPO and RTO? So in, in that workshop, we give you two designs to do that. One, we leverage primary storage, a uh, very unique and creative use of snapshots uh, and talk you through that. The other is we can actually make backups work a little bit harder. And the way we do that is if this is a uh, system that we're backing up, let's say it's got a few VMs on it. And then we're backing that up to a disk appliance. That disk appliance uh, could be running software, and there's several in the market now. We'll talk about the different software in the, in the workshop. But there's several in the market now that as I'm doing these backups, they essentially store this uh, virtual machine in a native format or they have the ability to quickly convert it to a native format. And what that allows me to do is when there's, if I have a, a corrupt VM or something like that, I can instantiate that VM's data store right there on the backup appliance. Okay, And then that allows me to get back up and running pretty quickly. It's probably about a 20 minute to 30 minute window, so it's not for the sub five, five minute type of stuff. We'll use primary storage for that, and again, we'll talk about that. But it's really for that eh, 20 to 30 minute window, and we'll talk about some of the pros and cons in doing that. And one of the things we'll talk about a lot is if I'm going to start running VMs off of my backup storage, what does that backup storage have to look like? You know, all of a sudden, some of the features that I really have liked about backup storage, especially disk-based backup storage like deduplication and compression, all of a sudden they kind of hurt me if I'm going to be running VMs off of my backup appliance. So we'll talk about some of the pros and cons in that as well. And I think that's one of the key things with this workshop. It's very vendor neutral. Uh, I can give a, a talk on the pros and cons of the different concepts in the data protection market. And you can walk away from that workshop with some actionable things that you can do probably the next day without spending a lot of money and maybe in some cases no money and really improve your ability to protect data. So I hope you'll join us at the next one. We'll include a link here that uh, has all the registration information. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today.